Hi guys, I'm going to do, this is the part two, it was going to be longer, of the Empress. The first card out was Burdens. And so, whoever's an Empress, either somebody put these Burdens on to you, or, and then the Seven of Cups came out. So that could be, that it could be somebody who had options, right? And then the Two of Wands is making a choice. So, this person could have had a lot of options and didn't know what to choose from or something like that. And it could have really threw you into, you know, having these feeling burdened, overburdened. But then the Three of Pentacles came out where they want to collaborate now with you falling on the Empress. If I just do two piles, I'm gonna, and I am. So, the Star card coming out tells me that this Empress transformed her whole life. Could have been misjudged because this is a person coming back here with no, like, the way she was born or he was born. Or this could be an Aquarius who went through a transformation also because that is falling on the two of wands. So maybe this Aquarius doesn't have to be an Aquarius. Could be an Aquarius moon. Could have Aquarius in their chart. Or both of you could be stars. You know what I mean? All right. So anyways... After that Aquarius card came out, how did this go? Okay, the Five of Cups came out. So, you walked away. You ha I, I believe that you had to walk away from another relationship or from a lot of stuff or people that no longer served you. Maybe both of you could, had to. That's what this card is, or depression. Um, if you are not depressed, then take it as it resonates. You walked away from a relationship. You got two cups behind you of love, so maybe two people. You may have a choice be between two people right now, and you're looking at those three cups from the past, missing out on, on those two cups behind you. Okay, so then the devil came out with the five of wands. This is a card of gossip jealousy, fighting, arguing, and there could have been somebody controlling this relationship. This could be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This is this signifies the devil. Okay, so toxic patterns, toxic behaviors caused fights. Okay, or somebody put these burdens on two people. Okay, well, and we'll see. The Five of Wands and the Five of Cups are clarifying each other. So that could be, if you only got to the Five of Cups, you'll know your story. If this person, if you walked away from somebody where you never felt loved, this is your story. And you too, this new person, this new person, because there's two energies there. There are two energies, and you'll see that. That's why I did this whole extra thing transformation on this Capricorn card. So I believe that you two went through complete rebirth and transformation. This whole relationship is probably orchestrated by the divine, you know, like needed to happen. So we got a King of Pentacles. Either you're the King of Pentacles or you have a King of Pentacles coming in. Now wait, where's the Queen of Wands? Okay. Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles. Fire. Fire couple here. Okay, so. Uh, it's hard to win over a King of Pentacles heart. Take it from me. Uh, but it's not in a bad way. They are amazing. It's just. They're so much involved. You know, when it comes. And they, they got it. They have to. Hold on to their pentacles. That's how they got them. You have to be wise. You have, have to be diligent. You have to be smart. So it, it's hard to win over a king of pentacles. Wow, there's actually, I never even noticed, kind of like um, birds flying around and stuff on this card. There's a, there's like a, a huge, beautiful house in the background. Okay, even though it's a, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think this is that the Capricorn. 
So, you never know. This King of Pentacles could have been in that devil energy. I never noticed that before. They're not the same horns, though. I just never really looked at this card. Okay, so anyways, you won over a queen, uh, a king of pentacles and a queen of wands. That's hard to win over a king of pentacles hard is what I meant to say. You could like sunflowers. Uh, you could be very spiritual with the black cat coming up. And you could have manifested this even. You could be very creative and unique. Okay. The King of Pentacles wants to celebrate with you. The, oh, this is why this is gonna be happier times for the two two of you now. Because clearly you had some third party energy. That three of pentacles could even be a third party interference that's falling on the Empress. Or somebody wants to collaborate with her. But if you had you know, this could have caused a lot of mental, uh, you know, distortion or whatever. Or you two could be absolutely stuck on each other. Because that card, that means that sometimes too. But you needed to get balanced. And this is infinity. So this is like your person here. Knight of Swords is somebody coming in with communication. Or somebody that's not going to be very happy about this. It could be this Queen of Swords. Or this could be you just coming out in the Queen of Swords energy, Empress energy, but Queen of Swords because of this. But I, I feel like this is somebody who really does want to rush in. Tower. I'm, I'm being guided to stick with the how I'm going. Ace of Swords. Okay, this is definitely. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity coming in. For this Empress or Queen of Swords, if you are Queen of Swords, also, that could be the third party. So take it as it resonates. I told you there were definitely two energies here. My ears ringing. Knight of Pentacles. Okay? So this could be just somebody rushing in who, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. So maybe now they want to rush in with something they heard or... You know, because they know maybe you have other suitors or something like that. Knight of Pentacles is coming in to finish what they started. So if you know your person well, and you know, say, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, either one of those. Virgos are very analytical. All their, They got to cross all their T's and dot all their I's, okay? So that's what this Knight of Pentacles is. But you have a King of Pentacles. So this is probably how they're coming in. A knight is courageous. Takes a lot to come in after something like this. Look at the sun. I'm done. I'm so Clarification. It says cuppy doodle. Cuppy doodle. So I feel like I feel like you two are like goofy together or something. But oh my god, that was funny. Okay, yes, you did. You did walk away from everything. This is also a card of sometimes returning to the past, but not your five of cups. This would be returning to somebody you obviously had a separation with here. There's two energies again. I don't know if you got divorced somebody or you walked away from another relationship and you walked into something better is coming is what I'm trying to say with the eight of cups. It's a, and it's an abundance thing. So we, there are two eights here. Eight, eight. I see to, a lot of earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But there's also um, fire here. With the Queen of Wands, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. You know what? I'm wrong. I don't see Sag. A lot of Gemini and Earth. Gemini. Okay, so anyways, we got the Sun card. This is happiness. This is Things are moving to calmer waters 
the two of you are going to have a chance to be happy. No more sleepless nights. Victory. And I said, instead of saying someone's having sleepless nights, I said, no more sleepless nights. Because the sun card came out. And truth, you may have already got this. You may already be talking to your person. This sounds like a power couple, twin flame, or soulmate thing. Victory. But there's a lot of pentacles here. So this could be for something you're doing. This is public recognition. Maybe for the two of you. Maybe this is going public. We had that star card. Star card. Someone could like to, you know, uh, tap it off. I don't know why that's coming to my head. We got Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Generational wealth. This is also... Moving your relationship to the next level. Oh my God. Higher fit. That's a marriage card. Page of Pentacles. More Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The Fool. I'm done. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not done. That is a new beginning here. Someone has taken a leap of faith. The battle's over. Look at this. The World card. It really could be going public. Because the star card and the world card are, is something on social media. Or um, your person has traveled the world. This is also elevation with that star card, death and rebirth, the Scorpio transformation, the world card. This, and this is a Sagittarius card too. So somebody could have Sag. But this is like, you, you're like a leader. The eagle is here. You're strong. The lion is here. That's what I feel like. It's signifying your strength, your perseverance, your accomplishments, your elevation. People don't even recognize you anymore. Or they're, like, looking at you funny. There could be competition, too. There could have been competition for this union. I'm sure. I'm sure you both had options. You know? You're the empress. So, we got the Wheel of Fortune. That's karmic wheel turning in your favor, for sure. Good luck is on your side. You could have uh, money owed to you or coming to you. You know, they say from the universe, money owed or whatever. There was, there was, here's the argument that happened all the way at the bottom of the deck. But this is also 555 five, five for that past relationship where there was no change. That's why 555 five, five came out. Conflict and drama all the time. Magician, this is a fresh start for the two of you. Um, Knight of Cups, okay. Unless your Knight of Pentacles is coming in as the Knight of Cups. That could be why that's showing up. And again, it's... With the King of Pan Pentacles, they have a hard time expressing. It's not just one guy that has a hard time expressing. The King of Pentacles, it does. And they, if they are coming in as the Knight of Cups, ah, uh, you know, Virgo and uh, Virgo Gemini energy, right? So this is somebody could have a lot of Virgo and Gemini in their chart. Something happening very quickly now. And now 888 is here. So this, I'm telling you, this I forgot to bring up this, uh, because you know why? <laughs> I'm not going to be, I'm going to be honest. This is that 555 person. Could be a Pisces or Aries. So that they were forgotten about over there. Page of Cups. Wow. So Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, this person loves you. It, he could be a Leo, she could be a Leo. What, well, he is the King of Pentacles, is a he, because we have the Empress here. Now we got a High Priest or a High Priestess. Okay, so you may already know this Ten of Cups is coming in, or have a little bit of an idea, uh, but you could be getting some rest and recovery, the both of you. But this this sometimes could also be, you know, heart, your heart's broken. So you are resting from a heartbreak. Uh, and this guy's in a church. You know, maybe both of you could have turned to spirituality to heal or 
religion. Maybe maybe one of you weren't, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm getting that because I, I always say hour and hour, but I looked at the stained glass window here. People praying, and the higher fin did come out. Injustice, that already happened because somebody was in this Knight of Wands. So if this is your story, you'll know. You're moving to calmer waters now. So this definitely, I said, uh, you know this person already, but it's not the Five of Cups. Already you're up to a Six of Cups if this person comes out, but it's moving to calmer waters, and this is with your person. So there was a separation. Yeah, that definitely clarifying this is your story, but look. Ten of Cups, okay? And Generational Wealth came out. So, ten, 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 ten actually. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> this is, the two of you are moving forward very quickly now. See, I, I just don't understand why some people get these. And I'm not trying to start a ruckus. I just don't understand why my messages, and, and I know... I'm pretty confident that I'm giving you this correct message if the way this story is coming out. I don't want to be right. I, it's nothing about that. I don't understand why I listened to a couple today because I was having a rough time. Sometimes just no reason. It might be this moon. might be this uh, middle stage of the hair. No, I'm just kidding. So, anyways... Uh, I just don't know why some people get all the cards in reverse. And I did have somebody explain it to me one time why hers come out in reverse. But she reads them like I do, even though they come out in reverse. So the readers who get the cards in reverse and are saying, you know, this person did that to you and this person did that to you. Why am I not picking that up? There was definitely a lot of conflict here. Even on both sides. Even the separation could have been a big deal. You know what I mean? But I don't know. And I am not trying to start a ruckus. I just kind of don't understand why. Look at The Knight of Pentacles is over here. And Ace of Pentacles. I use this deck. Okay. So, double clarification on this. Alright. Three of Wands is... Travel, uh, communication, someone wanting to travel towards you. And there, we already knew that something happened. There was a seven of swords. All the fives are out. Five of cups, five of wands, five of pentacles. This is walking away defeated. This could be the argument. This could be the, the five of cup, cups person, you know, peeking in. They could have caused you a seven of swords. You know, you'll know your story. Put it where it fits. Both of you could have betrayed you them could have betrayed you somebody could have been holding back finances or somebody was holding on to you the whole time the lovers yeah they were virgo been in hermit mode i think he got a new perspective yeah that could be your king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn and here's the seven of pentacles so this is a card of you being very patient working on your money Looking at it saying, okay, maybe it's not enough. I'm, I, What can I do next? But, be, but kind of patience. So maybe you're waiting. You were waiting for this person to, I wanted to say, come to his senses. But I don't know why. So don't judge me. This person could be watching you with the Page of Swords. Or that could be communication. The Swords up on this one. King of Swords. He could be, so we got a king and queen of swords, okay? Third party for sure. Somebody did this to the both of you. Heartbreak, but still, it, it, it isn't all one person's fault. But there was a heartbreak. And that king of swords could have caused it. Some Gemini energy could have caused it. Um, somebody could have been acting as a rival to you. Like, this is the Page of Wands coming out after the heartbreak. This could be in the past. Your heart could be broken, too, from that past person. So, if this person was acting as a rival or in competition with you, because the Page of Wands coming out that... Or there could have been a rival here that caused this heartbreak. But, 
this is your person saying no more worries and the battle is over came out so also 999 came out in this reading i don't know why my nose is plugged all of a sudden that's what happens to me during the readings i've been noticing the emperor finally showing up ladies or ladies and gentlemen and look at the six of cups so this is your soulmate here coming back six 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 they want to get you weekly now i know some people are going to say oh i'm not going back i'm not going back but this was uh something that needed to happen my masculine is a great cook and look at come on i have three cards out here i and i just wanted to show you something that'll brighten you up self-love i was going to put these back so maybe you two needed to love yourself first we do have a queen of pentacles here and it says you've done the deeds and you've learned the lessons queen of cups is next so that's this person is looking at you as a queen of cups you could be very nurturing to them it could be you know, maybe this King of Pentacles never had this kind of love before. Look at the 1111 card. Four of Wands coming out on the Queen of Cups. That's how they're looking at you. They may even want to marry you. Judgment. Or they could have misjudged you. They definitely want something uh, solid here now with the Four of Wands coming out after a Ten of Swords. Wait. Oh my god, how weird. My cards are a little bit mixed up, but how weird that I'm like, wait, wait. <laughs> Fuck off. No. <laughs> that is not to God. That's just weird that that happened. So, ton of swords coming out twice. You know, this could have been... Divines had to step in because of this. Now, here's the thing. You don't know the story if you're in separation. You know what happened to you, but if you don't know the whole story, don't jump to conclusions, okay? If this person's coming back in, listen. I know some people may not be able to, but you know what? To be honest with you, it, it does make you, you know, the bigger person. I feel like there is a lot of healing here to where you can have a conversation. Well, anyways, Divine had to step in here. We have a King of Wands, too. See, I feel like it happened to the both of you. Like, maybe it seemed like it was... I'm telling you, Justice is here. Something happened to the both of you that sucked. Bottom line... King of Cups showing up. You two love each other. King and Queen of Cups. I know these. this is the rest of the cards that flew onto the ground. But this story is the one that's been kind of going on. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody could be working on their money, but that's a card of abundance also. Eight, 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 eight in this reading. Passionate new beginning. Look at finally coming out. The Two of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles, somebody wants to have success with you. They may even want to partner up with you. We got the Queen of Pentacles, so power couple all around the board. All around the board, somebody could be in their emotions about that. Or that, this card is because of that Seven of Swords. And this, look what, just to show you, and I go by this. Look how many cards were wonderful, right? Right? Except for the fives that you walked away from, which you're badass. You walked away you walked away from that because you didn't want to be treated like that, right? And so there isn't there was more good than there is, you know, with the moon card coming out, something happened, that's why. So somebody could just be in the moon, in their emotions because of what happened. The moon card and then Oh my god, I was so busy talking. You seen Justice. Wait. I thought there was one card after the moon. King of Cups, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, 
Nine of Pentacles, and then Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe not. But I guess what I was trying to tell you is all these, this betrayal happened. Or, or it could have even happened a couple years ago, and they're in separation. You know what I mean? So anyways, what I'm trying to say is it, that's over. The tower already probably came down. So if you guys are talking or whatever, if not, it sounds like this is happening. You know, it's divine timing. Nothing I can really say. I mean, I can ask. Holy Spirit, can I have some kind of timing on this? Two of Pentacles, so two months. I'll ask again. Can I have some... Three of Swords. So, two to three months. Right now, they're just watching. Okay. And don't quote, but wait, where's those initials? You want initials? You're going to, one second. I got to run for them. Or wait, did I put them right here? I told myself yesterday to keep them out. Out here, so I'm not gonna make you. I'm pissed now. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I thought I intentionally kept them out here, but I've been working all day. I'm so sorry. I'll get, I'm gonna get you a love oracle because I really wanted to get, I could put the initials separate. All right, let's get a love oracle. Somebody wants to say. The heat between us is intense. So that they're not going to last long. <laughs> like I said, two to three months. And I feel pretty confident on that decision or on that. Be adaptive and receptive to lead our love to divine growth. So they know I miss, I miss us. All right, one more. So mad about those initials. Wait. Oh, my God. How could I forget the last card that fell? I saw it go down. Guy, guys, I'm so sorry about this. Look. The Ace of Cups. If they both fell and I got so busy talking about that one, I, I'm, oh, my God, I'm embarrassed, guys. All right. Well, anyways, I thought this was a pretty good reading. It was 28.08 on the clock. So, abundance, again. Um, I hope this helps somebody. So, this is like the part two to that short, but I'm not even going to put it as that. So, I'm just going to do this as a separate reading. All right. Love you guys. Uh -huh.